All right, hey guys, this is my late Spartan, and I'm going to show you how to cut around this figure from Modern Warfare 2. And it, you know, you'd think it would be easier, but it's really not, because if you notice in the background, it matches in very close to what he's wearing. So you can't just go in with a poly or magnetic lasso tool or anything, because then it's just, it's going to get all screwed up. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. That was exaggerating, but you get my point. All right, so this is going to take a lot longer, and I'm going to have to speed up in one part, and it'll probably take you, I don't know, 10 minutes. So yeah, all right. Um, if you're doing the same figure as I am, which you're probably not, but to tell you this one, it's you're going to need to color them in um, black. All right, you'll know what I mean by that in a second. All right, so first off, you're going to need to uh, let's see, hold control, click on the thumbnail over here, and it'll select here um, the whole image. <laughs> Excuse me. And now you're going to hold control, alt, and L, I believe. Yep. And it'll come up with this levels um, adjustments. And drag the white, kind of play around with it until you get like a big distinction in between the your figure and the background. Um, it's not really working for me right now, cause, let's see, it's about the best I can do right there, I think. Hmm. Alright, I'll just go with that. Control D to deselect. I don't even know if you had to do that or not, so, don't ask. Okay, so now you're going to take your paintbrush, and make sure your foreground color is black. I need a normal brush here. Make sure it's solid, not like fading away like one of these. I don't know what those are called. What are they called? Drop shadow brushes, I think. All right, well, make sure it's a solid brush. And you can just use your brackets and make it really big. All right, now before you start um, painting on anything, you have to right-click duplicate this layer. Where's my mouse? All right. And just make that one not visible. And make sure you're selecting on the visible layer, obviously, or someone won't let you paint on it. All right. Now you just have to color in the figure as best you can, like basically perfectly, if you can. And uh, I'm gonna speed this part up because this is gonna take me a good, I don't know, ten minutes. Okay, so I've, for the most part, finished coloring in my, uh, my Warfare 2 character completely black. So now, you're going to go over to, um, the, let's see, not quick selection, Magic Wand tool, and just click on them. And it should highlight the whole thing, because it, it recognizes the big difference between the just pure black and this brown, I don't know, whatever thing. This is not supposed to be there, so that's going to be a problem. That means if this ever happens to you, just undo the magic wand, and that just means you're going to have to paint around the edges white. So I'm going to do that really fast. And this is all you really need to do. I don't think you would need to um, color in the whole thing. We'll see. Like coloring all this. I don't think you need to do that. But maybe you will. 
Nope. Okay. So now it just selected him as a person. But now you can see all these like little strains. Like, let me zoom in. <coughs> Whoops. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Oh, god dang it. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. Right here. There's like strands coming off from his pants. And you want to get those for it to be a really good render. So to um, just kind of like warp this, um, this selection here. We're going to use the... Where is it? Okay, well... I have quick selection tool on. You might or you may or may not, but there's if you right click on it, there's a selection brush tool. Just click on that. And you can use your brackets or just change the size, whatever. And this will let you warp like this the actual selection that your magic wand tool made. Isn't that nice? Okay. You don't have to be perfect, but it'll like touch it up after you get the person out of this uh this picture after with the um the eraser tool. Crap, I'm quite a bit off there. Oh well. Alright, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna get some other spots here. I think there's one up here. Somewhere, yeah, right here. Is that one? Yeah, I think it is. What the? You can always just check. See, yep, he does have one. All right. So what am I doing? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm good for the most part. Oh, right here. I thought there was something over here. All right. Talk about zooming in. I can see the freaking blocks. All right. Uh, come on. Okay. Good enough. All right. So once that's done and you have your whole person highlighted, uh, or um, yeah, outlined. And if you don't have these lines, by the way, if yours is like like this, just make sure you hold Control or Command if you have Mac and click on this um, the little thumbnail over here and. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Sorry. Use the magic wand tool. Do that. Okay. Yeah, because then I would have to do the whole brush thing over again. And I don't want to do that. Okay. So then make this, this duplicate layer visible. And you should, like, perfectly cover your character. And now make sure you click down your duplicate. Go up to select, select inverse, and click the delete button on your keyboard. And now when you do control or command D to deselect, you should be able to move your person around. And you can just create a new um, file or just delete your other layers. I'm just going to drag them over to a new, ah, new file. Sorry about that. Okay.